Mechanical advantage with the Aztec. Okay, my load is here. Or sorry, my anchor is here. My load is here. All right. So terminal end at the anchor. It's even only if all of our pulleys are moving in the same direction at the same speed, which they are. The double sheet pulley right here. We know that this is simple. Terminal end at the anchor. It's even. Um, I count the number of strands directly supporting it. It's one, two, three, four. This is just a final change of direction. So four to one with a final change of direction. If I flip this around. I go five to one, no change of direction. So we flip. So it all depends on how it's oriented. So I'm the load, uh, someone else is doing the hauling. Same, same rules apply. It's a simple system. Both sheaves are moving the same direction at the same speed. The terminal end is at the load, so it's odd. The number of strands directly supporting the load is now this one it counts as one. One, two, three, four, five. Five to one, simple. On the Aztec, just depends on how it's oriented. All right, moving on. So this is a th three on four compound, 12 to one. But we have to rig this Aztec in a four to one change of direction configuration in order for this to work. Okay, and we have to pin the blue prusik because I need that orange prusik that is directly connected to this last change of direction right here. Let's zoom in so you can see that. So this is the hull strand right here, and this is that change of... So this represents the change of direction on the hull on a four to one change of direction. The next strand directly here, if you follow it down, the orange prusik is not being utilized, but now I can utilize it with a carabiner and a pulley. And I'm going to compound this. And so if we just did an Aztec, this is our change of direction on a four to one, but now that change of direction is coming through on another bite through a pulley. And that's a three to one on a four to one for a compound 12 to one. So let's see what that looks like when I weight it. And then Jan, if you want to take that. All right, so we're going to supply some tension here and now we're going to do the T method, right? It's in line, okay, one in, one out, two, one in, one out to the Prusik, that's three, three in three out, six, three in, three out, three continues on, three in, three out, another six, and it terminates. Six plus six is 12. So 12 to one mechanical advantage conversion on the Aztec. All right, moving on. Okay, this is called inside nine or, or inchworm nine. We're getting just a little bit of distance with a lot of mechanical advantage using nine to one. So let's take a look at our Aztec. If this is anchored and this is pulling, this is five to one on this side. If we flip it and the other side's anchored, if this is anchored and this is the load, it's a four to one with a change of direction. If all these pulleys are moving together and collapsing, we're utilizing the entire capability of this Aztec. So four plus five is nine. It's gonna be a nine to one mechanical advantage complex. So we call this an inside nine. It doesn't matter where I put my rope grab. Um, I just need to capture one strand here, one strand here through my progress capture device. So it does not matter at all. So here I'm gonna go. So let's lock this in. There we go. Okay, so we have that. Extend that out. I need this other rescue sender rope grab to be on the brake side as it comes back through. Like that. Okay, so let's see what we have here. And I'm going to pull this up. And whenever we set this up, we want this to be butt up against our device. And then we extend it out. Okay. And we aren't hauling on our main rope. What we're doing is hauling on the Aztec. Okay. Let's do our T method real quick. Ready? One in, one out, two. One in, one out, two. One in. One out, two more for four. One in, one out, two more for four. One terminates. One plus the existing four is five. So we have five here, okay? Four here. We're gonna hold that five thought and go four directly to this grab, directly to that rope. Four in, four out, all the way to five. Four plus five is nine. So this is an inchworm nine to one complex where the pulleys are collapsing, they're moving against each other for short distances, for a raise on a short distance. We can do this without the Aztec. So let's bump over to the next one. Let's build this without the Aztec. Okay, here we go. I know I need a, a rope grab on the brake side. 
or the brake strand. Do you want to zoom in? Sorry, I'm all over the map. I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes. Okay, so we have that. Let's take the slack out. We have that set. Okay, so that's one on the brake strand or on the, the actual tensioned side of our rope, the load side. Got it. Okay, we're good to go there. All right. If I didn't have this here and I just took this rope and routed it in just like that, that's a three to one. If I just hauled here, that's a three to one. But now I'm doing a five to one complex. So that's a five to one right there. And then we just build upon that. So complex five to one, 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 two, one, one, two. Uh, one comes up with a two, that's three. Three and three out, plus two, five to one. All right, let's keep building on this and go seven to one complex. And right now I'm just doing this with uh, a lot of gear and equipment just for speed, but in all reality, I would do a double sheet pulley, derig this and then show it over again. So that's seven. We do it one more time, we get nine. So up here, route it through again. And this is our, the same thing. This is our, this is our inchworm nine or inside nine that we did with the Aztec. We just have, we just did this with, with pulleys instead. So let's extend this out and apply some tension so you can see what's going on. Yes, in reality, I would, if I was doing this for real, I would take the time to kind of read this correctly with double sheaves and everything, but let's do the T method, right? One in, one out, uh, two here. One in, one out, two here. One in, one out, two more for four. So four here. One in, one out, two more for four here. So four and four. One continues in. One plus the four that we had is five. Five in, five out. Five plus four is nine. So this is also your nine to one. You're inside nine to one, just with the rope. So let's take all this out and see if we can clean this up a little bit better with double sheet pulleys. Take all this out. All this comes out. And now we introduce our double sheet pulleys and see how well we can clean this up. Okay. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna like, I'm gonna make circles basically, is what I'm doing. So I'm gonna bring this close to me. So I can start making circles. And I wanna to try to read this in a way that makes sense. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in. So we made one circle this way. I'm gonna continue that direction. So continue that circle. And it helps if you have somebody else here just to kind of keep reference for you. Or I'm not recording and I have all the time in the world. Um, I'm gonna close that up. So I'm gonna keep making circles. Keep making my circle. Okay, keep making my circle. Let's see what we have. Extend this out. Okay. And now I pull, and it's a lot cleaner. Same thing, inside nine to one. And we two block, and then we can reset it by dragging it out on one side dragging it out on the other back to the start and we continue to haul for our inch warm or inside nine to one without an aztec complex both pulleys are moving each set is moving in the opposite direction so complex 